Hello there, Sibelius 7 users of YouTube. My name is John Terman, and I am coming back at you with another Sibelius 7 tutorial. Today we are going to talk about a very specific drum set notation. Uh, this symbol right here, the China symbol symbol. And uh, this project, I'm just, I am transcribing a heavy metal piece for some of my bass player friends in the symphony and they wanted a drummer to do the uh, full drum part and so that includes very interesting symbols like this uh, China symbol, this ornate cross with a circle around it. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is select a note head uh, and then you're going to want to move it to a, the corresponding ledger line. I'm just going to use my up arrow key and at the beginning of a piece or the beginning of a drum set part there will be a key to indicate what note head means what, and I'll do another video on that some other time. Uh, so from here, so I selected the ledger line because that's where the China symbol will be notated. Uh, we go from here to the notations tab, and then we scroll over to the note head type. And now we're going to select that in this drop down menu, scroll all the way down to the ornate cross. And the ornate cross looks a little bit uh, different than the regular cross. It has a little bit more beef on the edges. And we are just going to click that. And of course the shortcut for that would be shift option 29. And now we have our, our ornate cross. And now you can see over here we need to put a circle around it to designate that it is a China symbol. So to find the China symbol symbol we're going to go to symbols and open the drop down menu. As you can see I've recently used a circle but in its natural habitat it is found in general next to the do not photocopy symbol. Oh my gosh it's so far down. <laughs> and here we go. And it's right here so I'm just going to select it with the click of a mouse and it goes right over this ornate cross. And I have magnetic layout toggled off if I had it toggled on, it would be like this. You would see it wouldn't want to intersect with any other line. And so if you have that selected and you have this issue, make sure to toggle magnetic layout off. And then we're going to go back to notations here. And we are going to select our little circle. And using our arrow keys, we are going to uh, shift it up, down, to this left, to the right, uh, in order to get the, you know, the best looking circle around the cross. And now as you can see in this version, this larger note head here makes the ledger line a little bit longer and so I just did the best I could to try to get it to really um, encapsulate the entire ornate cross. And you know when there's no note underneath it's very easy to do just to center it really nice and uh, have that full closed circle across uh, through the X. And that's all there is to it. Hope this has been very helpful. Leave some comments, subscribe, and happy composing.